Well, good morning. This morning, uh, as I was reading through some of the posts, uh, there's a lot of unrest uh, of some of my friends. The great question is, is what's going to happen next? Do you remember the old Alfred Hitchcock movies? And uh, someone was fixed to be caught or whatever, and uh, the organ, it just squealed and screeched and just make the hair stand up on the back of your neck. And everybody in the theater was shaken and scared. Well, that's the way a lot of us are feeling today. Uh, a lot of my friends and uh, and loved ones. We just don't know which way to turn, what's going to happen. In fact, it's not just here. It's around the globe that we're facing these situations of unknown things. And the only certain thing that we have is God. That absolutely, with complete certainty, knows what's happening. What lays ahead of us. He, he knows. He's never been caught off guard. God never sleeps. God knows every detail of your future. Sure does. He makes no predictions. Because he knew what was going on before the foundations of the earth, before creation. He already knew what was laid ahead of us. So under those circumstances, the only thing we can do is trust in him in everything. Absolutely everything. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, starting at verse 1, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Okay? And I believe we are in the last days. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. We see that everywhere. Covetousness everywhere. Boasters, great boasters everywhere. Proud. We have, there is so much pride amongst humans that it's, it's ridiculous. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. We see that on the news. Unthankful. Ungrateful people. Everywhere. And unholy. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, and we see that, uh, incontinent, fierce, despiser of those that are good. Boy, do we ever see that. Traitors. We have traitors left and right. Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures. Yes, more than lovers of God. Isn't that the truth? Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's like reading a paper today, the local paper. The world <laughs> is crazy. It's crazy. But what I want to talk about is the fear that you may have in your heart. The fear that you may have of not knowing. You see, God knows the future. And if we're a child of God, we know that he takes care of us. Nothing catches him off guard. None whatsoever. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock, in his some of his old movies, he had cameos. I mean, he may be peeking through a window just as just a real short clip. Uh, or he may be behind the shower curtain and the camera would focus in on him, just flash. Uh, but you see, that's the way God is. Yeah. 
He's watching. He knows what's going on. He foretold it years ago, what was going to happen to you and I today and the world that we're living in. So, in Matthew eleven twenty eight, it says, "Come ye and uh, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest." You see, whenever all this fear and doubt starts just getting a hold of us, when you can't rest, we need to turn to Jesus. He's the one. He's the only one. He's the only Savior. He died for you and for me. If you're not a child of God, yes, you have a lot of worries ahead of you. Yes, there'll be a lot of sleepless nights ahead of you. The unknown, the unknown. Yes, your future is grim. Yes, you have despair. Yes, fear grips your whole being. Yes, you don't know what the future holds. But today, I want to assure you that God loves you. And all he's asking you to do is draw nigh to him. Call on him. Call on him. Just lay all your worries at his feet. Trust in him. Pray to him. Read his word. He'll speak to you. He will speak to your heart. And uh, it, it, you'll, you'll, you won't worry like you do. No, no, we shouldn't worry or fret. Not a child of God. Now, if you claim to be a child of God and you still have your worries and you're fretting about what's going to happen next to next, I strongly suggest that you get into the Word of God and on your knees. Let Him bring peace to you. He calmed the sea, remember? He can calm you also. But trust in the Lord, folks. Trust in Him. He's our only hope, the only hope. Man cannot do it. Man can only tear down. God can make something new. Well, I hope you got something out of this today. May God richly bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you, and that's the one that counts, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.